Welcome back, this is One Vlogger, and today we're talking about Hourglass. So before moving on to Hourglass, let me tell you something, some tips for vlogging. When you're vlogging, you stretch out your arm like that, holding the camera, uh, so that more of your body part is shown, rather than showing the zoomed in version of your uh, distorted face. So this is a better position for vlogging, and it's gonna show more of the body language, as well as facial expression, as well as your hands, so it uh, makes it full and uh, you can have some breathing space, breathing room here. And now we are moving on to this part, hourglass. Well, I'm shopping now. This sand timer has nothing to do with my shopping. Okay, I got this. Check out. Well, I came here for shopping, but I didn't get what I wanted. I've been going through stomach upset so I'm going to take some medicine for that the hourglass is made up of two glass bulbs so one on top and the other one on bottom like upper and lower there are two chambers so these bulbs are connected by a neck through which the sand passes and once that upper part becomes empty and the lower part becomes filled so we need to turn that over like invert it so that we can continue reading time like that so it starts the time starts and it's going to be one minute six seconds in this hourglass and after this one minute six seconds we need to invert it again so let's wait. Okay, now I can see once the upper part is empty, now the lower part is filled and again, we need to turn it over. But turning over takes one or two seconds. So you need to be very focused in this when you're using this continuously, when you're reading time continuously. Like just soon after the upper part becomes empty, you need to turn it over like that you need to invert it and it starts time starts so there are different kinds of our glasses like uh, they have like a different diameter of that neck and different diameter of this uh, sand holding bulbs so there can be more sand and that can last longer but smaller art glasses were known to have been more familiar more uh, popular and about its existence uh, there are no records of this art glass to be existed uh, before the early middle ages uh, so that's it that's uh, an art glass it runs for only one minute six seconds and these art glasses were used in the early middle ages by people for uh, time like uh, to measure the passage of time so it's nice it's quite interesting you know to have an art glass in front of you it like gives you such a vintage feeling but let's take some b-roll of this art glass when it's moving or when it's on um, action so moving on to b-roll So in the early hourglasses, there were silica sand as the granular material, but later on, uh, powdered powdered marble, just like this, I guess, or tin or lead oxides or burnt excels were used. Later, it was discovered that for the perfect flow of the granules from one bulb to the other, the ratio of the granule bead 
to the width of the neck needed to be 1 by 12 or more but not greater than half the neck okay the oldest known surviving hourglass is in the British Museum in London so that was it a talk on hourglass and this is I tell you this is the replica of an hourglass runs for one minute six seconds and we are coming to an end of this video hit like share and subscribe and don't forget to comment and I will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye ciao